continuing from my last video where we stopped here uh, we found we say that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle okay now the question was find the measure of angle B okay now to find the measure of angle B let me delete this the question is you have to find this angle okay this angle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back bring back that line so where is my line tool okay so let me bring this line so we're going to use Soka Toa to figure out this angle so this angle if you figure out this angle if this is X this will also be X because they are congruent triangles so this is a right angle okay so these two triangles are these two sides are equal these two sides are equal so they're congruent or equal triangles so we'll find this angle so angle B will be double of this X now for X okay let me delete this A now using Soka Toa using Soka Toa uh, for this angle this is your opposite and this is your this side is your adjacent angle or adjacent side so this is the opposite side and this is your adjacent side so when you've got opposite and over adjacent you're going to use the trig ratio of 10 okay that is TOA okay this is how you can remember TOA TOA stands for the this is a mnemonics for 10 okay TOA so your TOA this formula can be written as 10 X is opposite over adjacent so this is a mnemonic for 10 and the ratio of a trig ratio of 10 theta or 10 x <coughs> so if 10 x is o divided by a i can say that x is 10 inverse of o divided by a so you need a calculator or you need a table to figure out this most probably you should be having a electronic calculator so when you do 10 inverse or in some books sometimes uh, in some books they will say instead of 10 inverse they also say arc 10 so here yeah, for this question to figure out b we'll find first x okay so we can say x is 10 inverse of o divided by a so this is equal to 10 inverse of o what is my o my o is 4 and my a is 5 so that is 4 divided by 5 so I can get my calculator out and make sure that your, ang your the angle is set on degrees so we want to find in degrees so you go shift 10 bracket 4 divided by 5 that's also 0 0.8 which is 36 point so sorry 38.7 degrees okay we'll round it to one decimal point so or we, if you can round it to the whole number so that is 38 39 degrees okay so i can say x is so you can say x is equal to 39 degrees so angle b is 2x which is 2 times 39 which is 60 and 18 which is 78 degrees okay so this angle b would be 78 degrees so how did how i got 78 is 2 times 30 is 60 and 2 times 9 is 18 60 and 18 is 78 okay now the last question is write down the special name of this triangle of this type of triangle of this type of angle okay so this angle they are asking what's the name of this type of angle so this is an angle less than 90 and more than 0 so it's an acute angle it's an acute angle okay see you in the next